Today, we are going to look at a body vis brain builder about the female reproductive system and endometriosis. Endometriosis is a common and painful disorder that may occur when the endometrium develops outside of the uterus. Endometriosis can cause severe pain and fertility difficulties for the affected individual. This brain builder will cover the organs of the female reproductive system and the microanatomy of the uterus, as well as the causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment of endometriosis. The female reproductive system is composed of external genitalia and internal pelvic structures. The internal pelvic structures are the ovaries, uterine or fallopian tubes, uterus, and the vagina. The female reproductive system has many crucial functions, such as producing gametes, called ova, providing a site for fertilization, supporting the implantation of the fertilized gamete, providing nourishment to support the developing fetus, delivering a human fetus, producing and releasing sex hormones, and nourishing a baby following delivery. This is a body vis recording that walks us through virtually dissecting into a female pelvic cavity using a sagittal cross section to highlight the uterus and a few of its surrounding landmarks. The wall of the uterus is comprised of three layers. The parametrium, or the serosa, is the outermost layer of the uterus and is composed of a thin layer of connective tissue. It functions as a protective covering of the uterus. The myometrium is the middle and thickest layer and is made up of smooth muscle tissue. The myometrium contracts during childbirth and menstruation. The endometrium is the innermost layer of the uterine wall comprising a superficial layer of simple columnar epithelium. It contains tubular glands encased in cellular connective tissue. The endometrium goes through cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle, thickening to support a potential implantation. In instances where fertilization does not occur, the superficial portion of the endometrium is sloughed off during menstruation. Endometriosis may occur when tissue, such as the endometrium of the uterus, develops abnormally in other locations throughout the body. Typically, these growths will occur on other organs within the abdominal or pelvic regions. The mislocated cells are still sensitive to female hormones and can become inflamed during the menstrual cycle. Women who develop endometriosis typically started menstruating at a young age, have not had any children, have periods that last seven or more days, have a family history of endometriosis. Unfortunately, there is no known definitive cause of endometriosis. Some experts believe that retrograde menstruation causes endometriosis. In retrograde menstruation, some or most of the menstrual tissue meant to be sloughed off flows backwards and up into the uterine tubes with some of the tissue even potentially flowing into the abdominal or pelvic cavity. Although the symptoms of endometriosis do vary from patient to patient, pain and excess bleeding are notably common symptoms. Additional symptoms may include pelvic cramps both prior to menstruation and several days into menstruation, lower back pain, abdominal pain, pain during intercourse and pain during urination or bowel movements, fatigue, constipation, and bloating or nausea, especially while actively menstruating. Typically, diagnostics are run by a gynecologist when a patient expresses one or more symptoms. Diagnostic tests may include pelvic examinations, ultrasounds, MRIs of the pelvic or abdominal region, or a laparoscopic examination of the pelvis or abdomen, to follow up on any MRI findings. Unfortunately, there is no cure for endometriosis. Treatment of endometriosis primarily involves attempting to relieve the symptoms such as pain and masses. A patient's treatment will depend on their age, their interest in reproduction, and their tolerance of their expressed symptoms. Physicians will often prescribe medications to reduce or to potentially eliminate pain. Hormone treatments are another possibility, as this type of treatment may reduce or stop the spread of endometriosis. In severe cases, surgery may be recommended to remove the endometrial tissue 
or to remove the uterine tubes, ovaries, and uterus. Surgical removal of the uterine tubes, ovaries, and uterus is oftentimes the only permanent way to eliminate the symptoms of endometriosis. Finally, let's take a look at a patient example. You receive your patient's file and take a look. Age, 30. Sex, female. Chief complaints, pelvic pain, painful periods, and infertility. Your patient arrives with severe abdominal pain onset by her period. She also notes that she is unsuccessful in conceiving for two consecutive years. You conduct a physical examination and identify tender points. An ultrasound reveals aberrant growths, which you diagnose as endometriosis, within her abdominal region. Your patient's symptoms are severe and impacting her daily life and fertility, so you recommend surgery to excise the growths and prescribe medication aimed at preventing their recurrence. You also recommend her to a fertility specialist to help her address her concerns. Following surgery and after taking the prescribed medications for some time, your patient experiences a notable reduction in pain and initiates preventative therapies for managing endometriosis. Through surgical intervention and ongoing medical care, the patient finds relief and optimism for herself and her future family. This is a classic example of endometriosis. Thank you for watching this Brain Builder video. Please like and subscribe to our BodyViz channel, or if you are new at BodyViz, check out our other anatomy resources and schedule a demo at bodyviz.com.